And now, the moment we've all been waiting for... Decorating! Hey guys, what's going on? It's Neon Black coming back at you with another episode of Disney World Minecraft. Last time we left off, we just finished up this circle here, so now we're going to do some decorating. Make it look nice and pretty. So to start off, we are going to add some tables over here. So let's go ahead and grab, <coughs> excuse me, grab some block, uh, some quartz stairs, quartz slab, and grab some, uh, let's see what we got here. Grab some red hardened, nah, actually, um, grab some red wool and some yellow wool and then go back over and grab an oak fence alright so starting here with the stairs I'm gonna start over here on the left hand side if you're looking at the castle uh, we're gonna start over here and make just a little little table here alright pretty basic four seater table and I'm basically gonna put as many of these I can across facing one block apart so see how I have the one block apart so I'm gonna put these bad boys sitting down here and I'm just gonna keep building all the way around until I basically can't do it anymore which I think that that's going to be it yep cuz now when I do it it's gonna be putting that on the fence which we don't really want so we're gonna leave it like that now let's let's add one more row so kind of find the middle of these two tables which is gonna be sitting right there and we're just gonna back it up until we at least have one block of space so that way we can walk through it here so and then we'll basically do it again where we do four seater tables all the way until uh, we basically can't do it anymore and looks like we can fit one more there we go <clears throat> alright now this will be really simple here um, uh, what I would recommend is for you if you are on a regular texture pack go ahead grab a block of redstone and your piston and then just dig two blocks down and place your redstone and then your piston and oop, that's too far down there we go that's it and then we'll place that right there so you get a little table like that and then we can just put a fence up right there but as you can see for me it's a little awkward so I gotta figure something out here. So for those of us who have this awkward shade, um, I don't really like that because of the caution tape. It's really weird. Don't like it at all. Um, so, um, but if you guys don't have this on your pistons, use it because it looks really nice to have that. Um, but I'm going to get rid of that. Fill that hole back in there. And then instead, I'm going to find a half slab that I like, which for me is going to, I'm just going to use oak. And I'm basically, no, going to put it in right there up top. It doesn't really look as nice, but it works fine. Um, normally, people would, whoops, oh, oh, come on. Normally, people would just, oh my gosh, work with me. Why are you not working? There we go. Normally people would just um oh my god put um their fence down and then put um uh, maybe a, one of these half slabs on top or um put some carpet on top but it's kind of difficult cuz if we put the carpet on top it's going to look Oh, I'm just gonna grab a random carpet. Uh, it's gonna look something like this, which is fine, but then you can't necessarily put your fence on top of that. 
um, which is what we need because there's going to be umbrellas sitting here. So we got to put it like that pretty much. Um, but again, if you have the pistons that work, I would recommend doing the pistons because it looks much nicer. I can't do it here, but like when I go to Tomorrowland, then I'll put those down because it'll work so much better because it has caution tape. So for these, I'm just going to build each of them probably about two blocks high. If I want, if you want to do three, you can too. Um, it doesn't really matter. I think two of those should be enough. So then I'm going to take my red wool and basically just make a little plus sign on top of it on top of all of these here and you notice they should not touch at all okay so see how they they don't touch and the reason and it's you know it should be obvious because they basically just sit on top of our our chairs slash steps um so you know it's if if they're touching then you did something horribly wrong um i don't know how you could have done it wrong but you never know so place those one more there we go and then we'll take our quartz slab and go on the bottom half of the corners now here they will touch and that is completely fine uh, we don't really need to make a big deal out of it if you don't like the fact that they're touching you can either build a bridge and get over it or you can you know back them up or something I don't know I, I'm not really gonna make a fuss about it neither should you so but this is pretty much how this is going to work Okay, oh, nope, need it on the bottom half. Okay, and... Alright, cool. That should be all of them. Awesome. And there's your little tables. Well, they look really nice, don't they? I think they look very nice. And then we'll basically do the same thing on the other side. Only, I don't think we'll be able to fit two rows over here if you did it exactly like mine. So instead, we're just going to end up doing one row, which to me will, it'll be enough. Um, even though if you actually go to the park, there's about two rows of them. Um, if you want to squeeze two rows in, that's fine. It's just going to be really tight and compact, and you can still walk through it. Um, it's just, again, it's going to be, see, like here it's... Like here it might be fine, but like over here where we got the balcony, it's gonna be tight and the umbrella will be touching the little loft area. So I'm just gonna leave it alone. Again, if you wanna add um, a second row, it's completely up to you. Okay, so now, you know, now that I'm looking at this, I feel really retarded. Because I totally could have just put just a regular plank, and you're not going to tell the difference on whether or not it's a half slab. I feel really retarded now. Thanks, guys, for telling me. You're such good friends. God, what good are you? It's okay. My mom tells me that every day. What good are you? I'm like, oh, I'm pretty good at procrastinating. It's actually quite a great talent of mine. Okay, now instead of um, doing red, we're going to do yellow over here, which is my least favorite color. Like, if I could uninvent any color, it would be yellow. Because I just think it's it's ugly. So. But again, now these ones won't touch, obviously, because it was just the ones that were non-adjacent, like they were diagonal from each other, so these ones aren't really going to touch, but again, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, now I'll do my quartz slab all the way around. I'm actually just going to go do 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 make it a lot quicker, rather than just spinning around in circles and getting myself somewhat dizzy. 
There we go. Alright, sweet. That looks nice. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. I want some more of it. Alright. Cool. So now let's add some trees and bushes and flowers and whatnot. Alright, so to start this off here, uh, let's add some trees. So I'm going to do... Um, what I'm going to do here is grab oak sapling and probably also some bone meal where there you are uh, grab some bone meal it just looks like a pepper like a pepper shaker how exciting um, so I'm also going to play a little bit of God and how I'm going to do that is grab a grass block and also um, oh where are you at um, oak wood and you'll see why here in a little bit so just to start off I'm just gonna put a tree over here in this little area I was about to call it a quadrant but it's not necessarily a quadrant and let's make it grow and that's that's a little small for my taking um, so I'm just gonna here's how we got a little bit so now we'll put grass down another sapling and bone meal and I like that one a little better so let's go ahead and might as well grab the leaves so we can fill in that hole a little bit there we go let's trim up that base a little bit it's a little low there we go yeah that looks good alright now over here this really needs to be a big tree so, I'm going to just build this up, just so that way we don't get any uh, down here in this area. Um, I'm just going to actually build it up about three blocks, and then put oak sapling and, or, oh, uh, sorry, yeah, sapling and bone meal, make it grow. And let's add a little more to it, so maybe bring it down a little bit, make it grow some more. There we go. And then we'll just keep going down, I guess, as we add more to it. Which it seems to not be wanting to add anything to it. So we'll start here. There we go. That's adding more to it. And I think that that will be pretty good. So, although it's a little much of a box. So maybe we can add some more shape to it. Here. Shape to that. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. There we go. We're adding shape to it. Oop, that's that's too much shape. There we go. Let me bring this side down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That looks better. Okay, and then we'll pretty much do the same over on this side here um, so let's actually build one up and then start the tree there we go um, add a little more to that so we'll bring it down there we go it's fine that way I'll, I'll accept it okay and we'll add one down here on the other end I think it'll be fine if we just start there. There we go. Ooh, whoa, oh, hello. Very big one. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Very big tree. Hello. Um that's a little big for my thing. Uh I'm gonna cut that down a little bit because that's that's way too much tree. <laughs> So I'm going to just cut down the tree, so I'll be right back. Alright, so as you can see, I fixed the tree, made it a little bit smaller, so that's that's a good size, I like that size. So let's continue building some more trees and whatnot. So right over here, I'm going to put another tree, and I'm going to have it sit right here, uh, no, it's right here on this little corner spot grow it a little bit there we go that's a good size and then I'll have another one down here on the end as well right about there grow that up it's good enough and then I'll look for the middle 
which looks to be about right here between these tables. So I'm going to place another tree there. Have that grow. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Okay, and then, oh, I just realized that I totally forgot to do um, that fence right there. So I'm going to fix that. Make it look how it should. There we go. And pop that. And then I'll pretty much do the same thing that I did on that side. I'll put one on either end and one in the middle. Which again, the middle looks to be right about there. And now let's make them grow. Here we go. Ooh, that one came out. It's a little small. Here we go, that's a good sized tree. Yeah, that looks good. And that's pretty much it for the trees on that side. So right over here in these middle ones, there's going to be two trees. So I'm going to kind of just place one on the right hand side and the left hand side. So right about there, make them grow. Doesn't really matter how big they are. They can be big or small. I'm not really going to be too picky about it. Um, unless they're giant, then like that last tree, um, then I'm going to obviously tear it down. Um, but, you know, these can be, you know, about that big or, um, yeah, that big, you know. Oh, look, it's almost the same on that side. We get the small tree and then the big tree. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that so nice? It's so nice. Okay, and then we'll have basically the same thing over here. Well, we got one on the south side and one on the north side. What is it with you in not finishing off your fences, man? Come on, what good are you? It's a little close there, so I'm going to put it more center, and I'm going to put you a little more center as well, which looks about there. That looks pretty good. I want them still somewhat of a distance away from each other, so that way they won't touch. There we go. I wonder if it's going to do the same thing on this side where we got the small tree and then the big tree. <laughs> Let's find out. Alright, so place one there. And we'll place one there. Make them go. Oh, he's already grown. What do you know? They grow up so fast. Oh, whoa, okay, yep, that, that was it. Yep, the small tree and then the big tree. You know what, I'm actually just going to leave that. I think it looks fine as it is. So... Okay, and then all the other trees that are around this area are actually on the outside of uh, this place. So we will get to that eventually, um, hopefully in this video. So um, now let's add a little more decorating over here um, in these little areas. So in these little areas here, um, we actually have um, two water fountains, so I'm going to grab some sandstone and also grab some nether brick stairs and then a bucket of water because we like that water. And now I'm going to build um, a little, little fountain. So I'm going to find, so we got here we got the two and the two so on that second two um, right here on this side I'm gonna go out and go two blocks out and then go left I'll probably just do two and just make basically a three by three that's if you're not counting the corners if you are then it's gonna be a five by five um, but I'm not counting the corners so it's gonna be a basically a three by three Okay, and then I actually don't really know why I got these because if I do it then it's going to end up looking something like this and that's going to be too big so I think I'll just build this up and then put a bucket of water in nice and then actually I think I might grab me 
a glowstone. Stick one right there and stick one right there. Just so that way it lights up a little bit at night. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing over on this side. Again, where I go two and two. I'll destroy those. Go back two blocks, so right about there. And then make my three. Fill that in. And then build that up three blocks. And then okay. And water. Yay. Now we'll put, again, the glowstone in. Because we like to see the water at night. And that's <clears throat> pretty much it. So, now um, I'm going to grab some uh, oak leaves. And we're just going to add some bushes here and there. And um, some flowers. And just kind of make... Well, actually, before we do that, let's actually turn the lights off. So let's set it to nighttime. And now you notice it is really dark. And we don't want that. Um, especially, like, right here. And there's really not much light over there. So let's find a way to get some light in there. So what we can do um, is let's dig underneath that step. And we'll put a light source underneath there so it lights them up naturally and then we put that although it doesn't really light them up that much now that I'm really looking at it so trying to think of what else we could possibly do because it would be nice if we could have it light up like this but then you put that back in and it just doesn't really light them up um, so we'll just have to put a whole bunch of light sources around them so let's start that up so let's grab cobblestone wall the dark oak fence along with the dark oak slab and then grab your beacon alright so now I'm gonna add a little light just so that way we can see better what I'm doing and um, normally people would actually take night vision potion but I'm not going to because then that way I can see better at the night okay so I'm gonna build my lamp right there and I'm gonna build this up three and then go out on either side making it like the four and then I'll take my beacon and go underneath it all. There we go. And now I'll destroy those because we don't need those anymore. And it adds a little light to that. Um, I'm wondering if the beacon will act a little better. I think it will. A little bit. Not really. But that's fine. Um, I'm sure once we get enough light sources around here, it'll be better. Alright, so now let's add another one in the same spot, match it up. Again, build these up three, and then go all around the edge there. And then we'll put our beacon underneath. Yeah. Okay, now let's find the one that it looks closest to the center piece here, which looks to be about this one there. So we're going to build off of that one and add our light source. Now, if you think, <clears throat> I, I don't really trust the PlayStation very much when it comes to a bunch of redstone stuff but if you trust your like your computer or your laptop what you could actually do is put redstone lamps on oops and I'll actually show you a really cool way um, that you can oops uh, make it to where they'll turn on and off at night if you want to add it to your 
console version, you can. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it because there's going to be a lot of redstone stuff around here. And if you have way too much redstone stuff, then it might crash on you. I've had that happen before on a few of my worlds. So I'm going to put maybe a little piece on the center there just to add a little more to it. Yeah. Good. Looks nice. Okay. Now, I think that's the best light that we're going to get out of that. Um, so let me show you how you can um, do a redstone um, lamp. <clears throat> and there's multiple ways that you can do it. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, grab me a dark oak fence. And now we're going to need our redstone stuff, so let's grab a block of redstone and a sticky piston. And then I'm just going to grab, um, oh, a, a daylight sensor. So I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm going to build it. I guess I'll just build it right here. So when we I'm gonna set it to daytime now so build this up and the way you do it here so now we're gonna place our redstone down oh wait sorry we need the lamp too and then what we do is we take our oak fence and we just go around the edges of that redstone there and uh, build them up one more block and then we put our redstone lamp in on top of that so we got it just beneath it okay now I got it we gotta add a sticky piston and we gotta put it upside down make sure oh up come on upside down here we go make sure that it sits basically on top of uh, the redstone lamp and then we put our daylight sensor on and since uh, it, we have it set to where it turns on during the day and it'll turn off at night so it oops um, looks a little low oh that's why sorry this needs to be up one more and then there we go so now okay now we got it right um, and the reason why we have it set so low is because um, at night the sensor will turn off so the piston will go back uh, up and it'll take the redstone lamp the red the redstone block with it turning on all four of these lamps and then it'll just actually if we take those off then it'll have nothing to really looks like it supports it like it'll just look like it's just floating in midair so then we gotta put those in so now when we turn it to nighttime see it brings it back up and it turns on those lights okay and you can also um, if you don't really like that idea um, you can also just because uh, now the PlayStation fully supports this um, just build it up, put your stone on, and then a daylight sensor on, and set it to the nighttime setting. See, because it has the switch for the daytime and the nighttime. So you just have it set to nighttime so it turns on at night, and then during the day it'll turn off. See? So if you want to do that, you can. I'm not going to though because um, I actually have an entire city, uh, not really an entire city, but I have a uh, pretty big map full of buildings that have uh, a ton of street lamps that do that and as soon as it switches over to nighttime or daytime, the game just lags a lot and it lags for about 5 seconds before it you can continue on. So again, it's your preference. If you want to try it, you can. If you want to do just Main Street like that, I'm sure you could be fine. Um, again, it's completely up to you. So I just thought of something that we can do, make it look a lot nicer. 
So what we're going to do is take our, we'll get sandstone and some sandstone stairs. Get your glowstone and a wooden trap door. Sadly, I don't have wooden, but it's fine. Get some grass and um, some gray wool. Okay, and now what we're going to do here is destroy this. We don't really need that. And then place your dirt there instead. Oops. But don't do the corners. Okay, so we get a little something like this. And then we'll put the glowstone on the corners. And then we'll cover it up with our wooden trap doors. Even though I don't necessarily have wooden trap doors. And then with your sandstone stairs, oops, we'll do sandstone on the edge. And then our block in the middle. And then we'll take our gray carpet and place it over the top of it. There we go. See now when we set it to nighttime, it's all lit up and it looks really good. There we go. Yay, we figured it out. Awesome. Okay, now let's put our flowers back in there. I like our red. Yeah. Although I might actually um, add a little different roses there on that row. Oops, did not mean to do that. Totally did not mean to do that. Oh, <laughs> now look, Walt and Mickey switch places. How funny. Um, let me fix that there. On and ahead. There we go. Awesome. There we go. Now it's all fixed. Okay, go back to my roses. And I th I kind of want to try putting a bush right there. Oh, that's a little much. Um, but I think I might put them in the back. Just because the back will be fine. And then finish that up. There we go. See, now it looks good. Now we can now we can see them. The hidden Hidden magic. <laughs> Nobody will know that it's there unless you're a true Minecraft player. Only will true Minecraft players know that the glowstone is sitting right there. Alright, so let's continue on building. So I'm going to grab, again, my dark oak fence and my slab. As well as my cobblestone wall and my beacon. And I'm going to add some more lights and I'll put probably three lights on here so I'll put one on this corner here build that up and add some lighting in that looks good and then I'll build another one right over here on this corner Okay, I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible, so that way you guys don't really get bored watching me do all this. Okay, bring that in. Oops, not to the side. That's not what I really want. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, then I'll do the same on these as well. Want one there and there. So let's uh, nah, just build them up. Make it go by quick. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. Oops. There we go.
Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, and then pretty much do the same all the way around. So you guys can do that on your own. Um, I'm going to do that later on in the video. Um, when I <coughs> want some free time. Um, so now, uh, I'm going to add some lights over here. I'll put one on that corner there. And just for now, just to make the video go by faster, I'm just going to put them like that. Even though I'm actually going to do the same thing that I have here. I'm just going to put them there just so that way I know, hey, this is where some light's going to go. And you also know, hey, that's there's going to be a light source there as well. So, <clears throat> so I'll add one there. And I'll come over here. And I'll add one right about there, I'll say. So, put a light source there. And then I'll come around the back area, add another light source here. And another light source about, oh, right about there. Nothing too, too special. Okay. Now over on this one, I think I might add four light sources. So I'll add one about here, so that way we can get some light, a little more light in that pathway. Build that up, add a little light. And then I'll add a light source right about, uh, let's go here in the middle of that three. Put a light there. And then on the middle of this three, I'll put another light source. And then probably just put one over here on this corner. Put a light source as well. Sweet. Okay, and over here I'm going to put quite a bit. I think I'm actually going to add some more light sources in there. Just to add to it a little bit. Um, but then I'll put a light source on this corner. And probably this corner here. And then I'll come over here and f put one probably over on. I'll do the middle area here on that three. Probably right about there, close to the fountain. This one will have quite a bit of light sources. And then on the corner, because we need lights on the corner, because they are right next to the street. Okay, so then that also means we'll put one on this, so that way they're right next to the street. And I think that'll be good. If you want to put another light source like there, you can. Uh, it's up to you on whether or not you want to do that. Okay, so now let's do this. Oh, I didn't finish that. We'll do the same thing basically over on this side to kind of give it a mirror image of that. So we'll put a light source on these corners. There we go. And find that middle ground. Ta da! And where did we have it? On that little corner there? Right? Yep, right about here. On that corner there. Is where we had it, so I'll put it there. And then another on this corner here. Is that about right? Or did I do this corner? I probably did that. I did that corner there. Here we go, it's coming together real good. Uh, let me add more light in there. Just add a little more to it. Okay, now this light source will have probably about four since that one over there has four. So I'll put one over here on this corner. 
and another over here probably on this first corner now do it on the second on that middle corner there it looks a little better spot to put it and then I'll put one I'll find the middle there because this should be five blocks maybe nope it's six that's upsetting oh well I'll just kind of put it near the middle and then I'll put last but not least I'll put one over on that corner there there we are okay now let's add light over on this one on this very last one okay so I'm gonna add a light source on that corner and another one on the adjacent corner Okay, and then we'll come down over here. I'll probably put one on this corner. If the tree gets in the way, I'll just have to cut part of it down, which it looks like it's going to a little bit. So I'll just there. We go. I think that's really all that we'll need there. And then I'll put one over on that corner there. There we are. This is turning out really nice. Really nice. Okay. You pretty much know where those lights already go. Now let's add some lights here. Now these lights over here are going to be a little weird. And by that I mean they're going to actually sit right in front of the trees. So instead of putting the cobblestone, I'm just going to go straight to the fence. And then I'm going to build this out. And that's right there is basically going to be it okay so it's going to go up about three blocks and then over and down so then it looks something like this if you want to add more light to it you can uh, I probably will and just do three instead of the four um, so and I'll but I, th I think just doing the one will be enough because we'll also do it on this side as well so then bring that up and over and down see because they'll be two right next to each other so you don't really need I don't think you really are going to need the extra you know four I think that that right there will be enough okay and then again We'll do them in the middle here. Here we are. And then find the same place. Put in the middle, build up. Oops, three. Bring it over. There we go. Because that's really all that we'll need there. And then over here, we'll put them on these corners right there. So one, two, three. Luckily, we don't have to destroy that tree. That tree is safe, but this tree is not. <laughs> destroy. Build up three, bring it over, and set it down. Okay. And I'll probably just do a little trim there. It's fine if it's on top, but I don't really know about the sides. I think I'll just leave the sides cut, and then everywhere else is fine. All right, and then I'll do the same down over here, up three, and over, and wow, you are really low. I'm gonna have to fix that too low. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy this tree. That tree's really too low for me. I'll fix you here off camera. place all right now we'll go down to the middle place that looks pretty good I really like that all right find the middle nice and then 
then again on the ends. Destroy that. We don't want that. Whoop. <laughs> That's not what I want. There we go. All right. Now, that looks like there's some really good lighting over there. Okay, and then I'm going to put another light source right here on this corner. Oops. And I think I will end up doing um, the whole, <coughs> excuse me, um, with that again where we do the four. Because I think it will be fine right here. Just make sure though that you build it four blocks up. Okay, so build those four up, and then if you want to add again the cobblestone there, you can. I'm going to just to add to it, and then we'll put it there. Build that up, making it three. And I don't really care much about the tree, so if it gets the lamp gets caught in the tree that's fine oh come on there we go whoops did not mean to do that all right there we go that looks like oop, that looks like enough light don't you think I think it's good okay oh got to do it over here as well so again do it on the corners down oops there we go and then I'll do it on this side as well only instead I think because that thing is so close instead of putting it on the corner I think I'll put it right there in the middle so I'll just find the middle there build that up three blocks Yeah, I think that would be good. Nice. That's nice. There we go. I think that'll work. That'll work fine for me. I'm okay with it. I might destroy that. Of that. There we go. Trim that up a little bit. Okay, now we got to add lighting over in here. So I'm going to put light there. This one I'm just going to build up three and then just put it on the top there and then do the same thing on this corner build up three put it on the top and find that m about the middle area it should be about there because that should be five blocks build that up and I'll do the whole thing again where we do the triad the quad lamps and then I'll just here I'll add no in the middle no there is no middle god dang I'll just put it on the corner there build this one up oop three blocks stick it on top really can't be that loud Okay, place another one there, kind of in the middle. And then I'll place this one on the corner. And this one on the corner where it connects. Place another one. Oops. And there we go. And since, you know what, since I have that. I think I'm just gonna leave that one as the single instead of doing what we got there. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing basically. It's almost like the same thing on this side over here. Build that up three. Place the beacon. That was weird. My PlayStation just beeped at me. Okay, and then I'll put one over on this corner and then 
and another one on this cor inside corner. And I'll place one. I guess I'll place one over here on this corner. And then one right there in the middle. So that way it just doesn't look like it's kind of a random thing. There we go. Okay, now we gotta place them on either side of this thing. Alright, and there we go. And that should do it for the lighting. Um, now, this, um, I'm going to grab um, some green hardened clay and I'm just gonna build find the middle build up about four and then place the green on top there and then I'll do the same on that side as well not really sure what it is all I know is that it's supposed to be there okay and that's basically it um, so um, I'm going to do the lighting and stuff off camera. Um, the flowers, honestly, I think you guys can do that on your own. You don't really need my help there. Um, just place like um, bushes and flowers in all these areas. The only place you don't want to put bushes and flowers is in these open areas in here. Like here you could probably put grass if you really want to or you can just leave it as is. I'm going to leave it like this. But in all of the enclosed areas like this, you can put bushes and flowers and stuff. Make it look nice and pretty. So you can go ahead, do that. You don't really need my help there. Um, so go ahead, do that on your own. Set that to daytime. Okay, um, although I will, before you do that, and before I go... <coughs> <coughs> got the cuffs today. Um, this part here is going to be really easy. Um, I know this is going to be a pretty short video, um, but that's okay. Uh, so, right now let's grab some um, sandstone and some cobblestone wall. And basically we're going to go around the edges of everything except for you know the bridges so I'm gonna start here and basically don't forget your corners I know we normally don't do corners but here we're gonna do corners so basically just go around the edges of everything on the outside okay and I'll show you some places where we don't really want the edges okay um, but here we will want the edges okay and there will be some places that are different like I know over here um, right about here I would say there's actually um, a little tunnel that goes underneath and the reason why that's there is just for water flow um, which we will build that but I'm not gonna build that in this episode um, I, don't know, I might maybe I don't know we'll have to see how far we get here um, but just for now we'll just go ahead and go around the edges here okay and then um let's see how wide is this is this three blocks yeah so actually go ahead go around the edge of the bridge because we do need that okay and let's grab actually some oak fence and our stone slabs so right here where the red meets the wood um, we're gonna build up oh I don't know how many is that one two three four five six seven eight half slabs okay and I'm gonna do that over on this side as well so one two three four five six seven eight and then again go along the edges of the bridge and then build that up one X 
actually no we're gonna oop oh did not mean to do that. We're gonna build it up right there and right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll take our oak fence and then go along the edges just across the bridge. Okay, so there's one, and here's two. Okay, oh, we don't need that. Um, we're not going to worry about the outer outside edges, we're just going to worry more about these inner edges here, and well, in, actually in some areas. So, like, oh, where are we at? So like over here where we have this bridge, it's we're gonna just go ahead, build around the edges there and stop when we get to each bridge. Oh come on. There you go. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. There you go. Now over here where you see this little part sticking out here. There's actually another bridge here, so I'm going to grab my wood that I used for my bridge. So, I don't know if you actually caught this in the last episode, but where you see it sticking out the most, there's going to be two, come on, and two. Okay, and then again, we're going to take our sandstone and basically go around the edges again until we get to the other bridge and then we're going to stop right about there okay and then I'm going to mark it say hey that's where we're going to stop by putting a sandstone there and a sandstone right there as well as right here okay and then go around the edges again Okay, and then right where we get to, I don't know, you probably didn't, but if you s switched your colors here, um, hopefully you did. If you didn't, that's that's fine. It's really no big deal. Um, <clears throat> if you didn't, you're, I don't really know what to tell you. Um, but in this little corner here, where we have that really weird shape thing. Um, what we're going to do here is just go around the edge until we get right about there okay and then we're gonna stop alright and then we'll do the same thing on this side over here so basically think of this as a box we're only doing two sides of the box rather than three or four okay so like here's side one there's side two side three and side four we're only gonna do side four and side one okay so that's all that we're going to do there. Okay, and then for this, we're going to start building this out until we get to the part where the it gets extremely narrow. And you'll you'll notice where it gets narrow here, which is coming up right about now. So see where it's really narrow right here. So we're going to build this come out and then we're going to go all the way out until it starts to do that where we get the little like teeth I guess you could say and then we're going to stop right there okay so no more building there okay and then we're going to find kind of the same area so we're going to come all the way over here now you see where this two is see that right there we're just going to go fill, start filling in that two and then we're going to go 
diagonal one, two, three, and that's where that's going to stop. Okay, so now we got to connect these with the corners. Okay, and then just go until you get tired of doing this, which I'm already tired of doing this. My back hurts right now. Um, I need to get like a like a chair or something for this because this is kind of ridiculous, but I'm okay. I'll survive. It's Minecraft. It's Disney. It's worth it. It's always worth it. Okay, this may take a while, but it's okay. Alright, now when you get to this part here where it switches diagonal from there, um, stop, because this isn't the end. This is just switches to a different color of the bridge. Um, yes, this is a bridge, so we're going to stop there. I just might bring that out a little bit. And then we'll come back over here on this side. Again, don't do that. Um, don't do this part here. We don't want that. Okay, so get rid of that. Okay, and then again with the whole diagonal crap again. And don't forget your corners. This is this is what this is what really hurts your fingers. What makes you get uh, Parkinson's? Okay, and then we'll just continue going around the edge until we get to the bridge that leads to Space Mountain, which is not this bridge here. This is actually something completely different. So we're going to wrap around that. Keep going, and this should be the bridge. Yep, so we're going to stop it right there. And then we're going to go to the opposite side of the bridge, and we're going to start back up right here. Okay, so don't worry about that. Okay, we'll do that later. Okay, and then we're just going to go until we run out of the red, basically. So, again, wrap around the whole edge. This is going to take five ever. Yeah, having fun yet? I know I am. This is lots of fun. This is what I live for. Pretty sure I woke up today going, oh, I'm going to do some more YouTube and make my back hurt. <laughs> Alright, and I'm going to stop there. Um, you probably don't have the white here, which is fine. You really shouldn't because I didn't really tell you that. That's just an outline I have for the future. Um, so... Now this, uh, you're going to stop, so see how we got, this is going to be the start of the building, so we're going to stop it there because there's going to be steps here and restrooms here, wall and buildings there, so don't worry about that. Okay, now let's go to the opposite side over here, back over to where we originally started and this is really easy so we're going to take cobbles, our sandstone and basically follow around the outside edge until we get to that weird little tail you remember that tail yeah we're going to stop it right about there okay and now this is the fun part we got to go over it all over again with our cobblestone wall so wherever we have sandstone go ahead and put your cobblestone wall yeah so this is where it gets down to the details so go ahead and do that and I will be right back alright guys so as you can see here I finished all the edges with the cobblestone wall I will as well as also finishing off the light fixtures and I added some of the grass and stuff it's really easy just grab some bone meal and just go in there and just fill it in um, so sadly that's all the time that I got for this episode so we're gonna end it there next episode we're gonna start some fun stuff so until next time I hope you guys have a great night and even better week